old school Yo Elliot advice, which is to become the strongest version of yourself first because every action is measured by the sentiment from which it proceeds. Yo Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I've recently gone through a massive shift in my life and I feel I found my purpose and I have my mind set on now building a brand. My problem is that this is a very long, hard journey and I'm only 18. I know I have what it takes uh, to do what needs to be done because I'm not in it for myself and of course, many other reasons. Anyway, I'm still very young and I need to experience life and have relationships and be social as I learn a lot about myself through how I react to things like that in my life. I don't have any friends at the moment that I really click with because most people my age are out chasing unicorns. I feel like I lack a support system and that leaves me vulnerable to others' opinions because I can't look to any people for true input other than myself and that's not always a trustworthy source. I also feel very alone and I told myself I was just going to put my head down and build my empire, but I feel it's just not reasonable to do so 100% of the time. I talked to a few girls, but mostly one, and I find myself feeling desperate and needy, which most likely stems from my childhood. I guess what I'm asking you is how do I balance all these necessary aspects of my life so I can put my best effort forward to build my future? So... What I want to offer you is this, man, some old school Yo Elliot advice, which is to become the strongest version of yourself first because every action is measured by the sentiment from which it proceeds. What does that mean? It means it doesn't matter what you do, it's who you're becoming. And how do you become the kind of man that does everything that he needs to do in, a, in the most powerful way possible? Health. Strength. Take care of your health, bro. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Make sure you're working out. Make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're well hydrated. Get your hormones tested. Things of this nature. Be the strongest you because it's your tool. This is your, this is your tool that you're going to use in order to execute, execute all of the different areas in your life that you see need tending. I understand that you want to build this brand. You also say that you, you, know, you want friends and a support system and people that you can relate to. You would like to continue speaking with this girl or you want to be with, you know, you want to have a, a girlfriend, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of different things. But someone once said to me, what you are, you bring to everything that you do. So rather than figuring out what tips, tricks, tactics and strategies you could use for each one of those things, which will emerge, which will be there, which will be helpful. First, focus on the game piece. The game piece is you. You become the strongest you, and then everything that you do will proceed from that place. Does that make sense? Right? So I know your question is kind of vague, but at age 18, here's another thing, man. Uh, I, don't, I, I never want to denigrate based on age. I never do because I remember what it's like to be 18. I remember what it's like to be 14. I remember what it's like to be 24. I remember these things, and I was fully engaged, fully immersed, and the problems were real. Your problems are real. But with a little bit of insight, because I've been there, you got to understand that all that you're envisioning, all that you're hoping for, all that's coming true for you in your life is being revealed. It's going to take time. It's going, it's going to happen in layers. Bro, you guys know that you know I'm in a new place right now, right? I'm at this ranch. I, I visualized... This ranch. I wanted this ranch. I wanted to be where I am right now. And now that I'm here, I'm like, huh, hmm, strange. Um, put my head down and work my ass off. And I, in fact, now that I'm here at the ranch, I think about back before I even had a house in the suburbs, I used to walk through the neighborhoods and I would look at the houses and I would say to myself, how do people even afford these houses? How do they get it? Like, how do, you, how do you save up enough money for a down payment? That's how broke I was and how, how ignorant I was because I was young. I just couldn't, I just couldn't fathom. Like, people save $50,000 for a down payment to get one of these houses. I thought that, I, I, in my mind, I was like, that could never happen. I was like, 
I'm not even making enough. I'm so in debt. I'm not even making enough money to make ends meet. It seems so far off. It seems so out of base. It seems so out of touch. I almost left it alone. But there's a funny thing that when God plants a seed, that seed is growing. That It's growing roots down underground. It will pop up and start bearing fruit on God's time, not my time, not your time. And so one of the things you guys, you know, you're 18, early 20s, what I want you to understand is that you don't have to have it now. Don't try to get it now. Don't try to make it happen now. One of the weirdest things that I've seen over these past few years is when young men hire me, you know, they're like 27 years old, they hire me, Elliot, I need to talk to you. They hire me for a coaching call or something. Or they come and, you know, they do coaching with me. And they're like, Elliot, I earn $500,000 a year because I started a business when I was 21. And now I'm sitting on a couple million dollars, right? And I got this very successful business. Some of them, you know, they're like 22 years old. These kids will hit me up and they're like, yeah, I, I, I have like three successful businesses and like 40 employees and they're making millions of dollars. I'm like, wow, wow, that's amazing. Well, what do you want from me, right? I don't even have that. And they're like, I don't know, it's a weird thing. It's like I almost got it all too quick and now I'm like depressed and I don't know what to do. I want to let it go. I want to go be a kid. I want to, I want to, I, I want to go do other things. I'm like, yeah, well, you got it all real fast because that's what everybody wants. And now you're sitting on a lot of cash and it's a good place to be You're sitting on all that cash because then you can really do whatever you want. But even still at that case, the young man comes to me and he's like, I don't know what, who I am, what I'm doing. I don't know my purpose. I have a million dollars, but I don't know what to do with it. Right. That all just to say that the grass isn't greener on the other in the other lot. The grass is not greener. It looks like, oh, he got everything real fast, but that that comes with its demons too, right? They say every level comes with its it comes with the devils. So, uh, be grateful for where you are. Take your time where you are. Fill your space fully. Do everything that you can every day with what you got. Be the best you. Be the strongest you, and let life add itself to you. Just as, the same way that you can't plant a seed and 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 force it to grow and force it to bear fruit. All you can do is give it what it needs every single day, sunshine, water, and then over time, over time, over time, over time. I'll just reiterate one last thing is take care of your health and strength. That's one thing my father will always say to me, man. He says it to this day. He says, he says you could take everything away from me. He says, I don't need nothing. This is my dad. I don't need anything except my health and strength. You, if I have my health and strength, I'll figure it out. That's his attitude about everything. I'll figure out what to do. I'll make it happen. You guys know that I'm like a little bit of a prepper, right? Like I like I like to prepare. I don't know why I got this. Maybe it's like a latent fear or something. But like, you know, storing food and water and, sh and stuff like that. I have a I have a um I have a well now, so I don't have to store water. Um, my dad laughs at me. <laughs> my dad laughs at me, and he's like. I'll deal with that when I get to it. He said, I'll deal with that problem when it arises. I'll deal with that when it happens. And, and as long as I have my health and strength, I have nothing to worry about. And I believe, he, I believe he's right. And I think that's good advice. And so I think that might help you too, dude. Good. Awesome. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.